Right, hello and welcome to this week's angling blog. This week you join me back on the banks of the Belmont complex. We're back on Willow Pool and we're in search of those carp. So although a week or two has passed on the vlog, today is only a couple of days after the session that's at the top of the screen now where we come out in search of a snow carp. What's happened over the last couple of days is the temperature has remained pretty constant. As you can see, there's still snow on the ground. We've had a bit of rain which has cleared the pool as you can see on screen now. So how it will affect the fishing today, that you know, thawing of the ice on the pool, remains to be seen. But we're back out on the bank, we'll quickly go over the tactics and take a look at the pool. So I added a touch of water to it, and as you can see, it goes together, it breaks up, so just got enough water in it to bind it not so it's really really hard it's still that fine mix it's got them pellets in it but it is mostly just breadcrumb it's got to be tacky enough to make a feeder but loose enough to break down so we're on the first cast of the day and you've got to have a bit of a plan so the plan isn't to have too many casts, I'm going to start off quite far over in front of me and periodically just going to see how we do on this first cast. I'm going to leave it, look for any indications, any bobs on the tip, any sign of fish in the area. It's gone quite far over really, not tight up to them reeds but probably about four, eight, four yards off them. So we'll see whether they're in that shallower water and hopefully with it being quite a shallow pool we might see a couple of liners of fish moving so in the next cast just started to get the odd sign of a fish over there them little plucks that you can see on screen now so the little tiny bit of a drop back but just not enough to to strike at them signs of fish about are there you just gotta wait for that window of opportunity some days over that far bank over there there's definitely a carp mooching so it's taken a while on the third cast just at the tip bounce a little and then just pull off nicely and the carp is an half fighting like they did the other day so I'm just going to try and concentrate and try and get him in and I've been through one battery on the GoPro so I know I've been fishing for around about two hours and in that time though I have only made three casts I had a little indication on the tip which I hope the GoPro's picked up and then it didn't half just tap round the first fish of the day and like we saw on the last one then windows of opportunity can be short it is ice cold in the hands so I'm going to get it straight back and get the rod back out so the most tentative of bites and um, just leaving it to develop very much not carp bites they feel like little roach pecking at the feeder but the slightest nudge and they're on and again just showing how important it is to remain disciplined not put too much bait in this is the third cast maybe fourth cast max we've had two carp but just sitting on that pile of bait and waiting for the bite to develop and proper hard fighting as always it is mad how they've been all around the pool but we'll try and get this one in and take a look at it and there we go the second carp of the session and just waiting for that bite to develop it was very tentative um, I probably had better roach bites to be honest with you but I guess they're coming down, feeding on that bread and pellet and when they get hooked they're not 
moving off very fast but when they are hooked and they're on the line they're putting up a great fight ice cold again in the palm and again we won't keep it out too long those two carp have come against that far margin there like i say we started this morning with one cast over there and then i had another cast over there which didn't show any indication for the first two hours the third cast was back over there in that shadow and that's when we had the first fish and i just moved it just a slightly bit to the right for the second one um and we've had that second one what i've done now is i'm just gonna rest that area for probably 10 15 minutes the ice on the rest of the pool down there now is cleared with that wind i'll just put a cast in the middle there not too long obviously because you've got that that window of opportunity that was so short last time you know we're going to be spending time where we know there might be carp but a few exploratory casts is not a bad thing you see a lovely surroundings that snow on the ground as regulars to the channel will know i love the reflections that come with fishing it's a beautiful setting to be fishing in so by the time this video goes live the complex will almost certainly either just be about to open to members or be open if you are a limb anglers member i hope you enjoy the water that all the lads put all the effort in you know to to make and to get to where it is as you've seen from all the fish they are all in immaculate condition if you aren't a limb anglers member and you want to join the club i'll put a link in the description below to the jot form to go on the waiting list for now I'm just going to sit back watch that tip and um, it won't exactly wrap around it'll just do that little tap So of all the fish I was expecting to catch today, this fantail goldfish or crucian, pop in the comments below what you think it is, you get a good look at its mouth, but it was the last I expected, they've all been, had a bit of ghost carp about them so far, the carp we've had over the past two sessions, maybe not today's as much, but certainly that first one most definitely had that ghost feature about them. But that's a lovely fish that give me more of a bite than the other ones put together didn't half wrap the tip round we'll get that rod back out and have another cast because it didn't take too long to come so just casting into the open water again and it hasn't taken too long to get another bite now you have to remember that half this pool was covered in ice this morning so actually exploring that water wasn't possible but it just shows you know have we been just hitting the side of the shoal up there where there is the bulk of the fish have been holding in this deeper bowl and this does feel like a slightly better fish it's not really gone on a long run like the others just plodding and he's not he's just a lazy one it looks like <laughs> what more what you'd expect of a, a fight from a winter carp what a lovely looking carp that is and that is what we hope to achieve when the team got together and did the pools up all the carp are in absolutely fantastic condition you know you look at the mouths full mouths beautiful scale patterns and it is a real sense of achievement sat here craig's further up the bank who was also on the project and it's a good feeling to be on the bank and know that you were a part of putting it together just put that cart back probably got 15 20 minutes left and just hoping for one more pull round on that tip but it has been another enjoyable day on the bank soon the snow will be gone and it'll be in the rivers so we might be back on here sooner than we think with them rivers already flooded this snow melt that's going to come in the next couple of days is going to send them straight back up again but just nice to be out on the bank in such a setting 
Right, so the session comes to an end there now, and in this last 15 minutes that temperature really has dropped. An enjoyable day on the bank, most definitely. It's been great to get out in these conditions and do something completely different than what I wouldn't normally do. Really have enjoyed it, and I hope you guys watching have too. Tight lines in your own fishing. Be great if you could like and subscribe, and I'll catch us all next week. Tight lines.